sports page with the Orlando Sentinel and FM 96.9 The Games, Mike the Bulldog Bianchi. On JRR. Bulldog sports page brought to you by Kaufman and Lind Injury Attorneys. Uh, quite a game last night uh, there, Bulldog. Wow. Kirk Cousins getting it done for the Atlanta Falcons over the Buccaneers. He throws for a career high and a franchise high 509 yards, four touchdowns, including a 45-yard touchdown pass in overtime. That gave the Falcons the improbable 36-30 win over the Buccaneers. What a wild fourth quarter it was. There was a blocked field goal, a fumble, an interception, and uh, uh, Cousins and the Falcons. It looked like the Buccaneers had it won. I think there was like a minute 50 left. The Buccaneers get an interception. They're up 30-27. to 27. They get an interception at Atlanta's 35-yard line. Levante David, their linebacker, intercepts Cousins. They get it at the Atlanta 35. Uh, game over, right? No. The Bucks got a holding penalty. They went three and out. The Falcons end up getting the ball back, and they kick a field goal right at the end. Despite a delay of game penalty, by the way, a uh, young way Koo kicks the 52 yard field goal to force overtime. And then cousins hits, uh, Kaderil Hodge in overtime. I don't know how he scored on the play. I mean, it looked like the Buccaneers had him covered. Yeah. Uh, uh, they, there was a defender all over him. He breaks the tackle and just outruns everybody to the end zone. So, Meanwhile, yeah. over in baseball, traumatic ending to the final wild card game in, uh, Milwaukee, uh, Brewers and the Mets. Yeah, the Mets end up winning the game. I didn't watch it, but wow. Yeah, unbelievable. Did you watch any of that? I watched the highlights, the ninth inning homer uh, to, to get the Mets up and uh, the, the just disbelief there <laughs> in Milwaukee as uh, yeah. the, the Mets will move on to face the Phillies starting later yeah, Pete today. Yeah, Alonzo, uh, if the Mets go on to win it, his home run will go down in Mets lore because, yeah, he, he elevates them into the next round of the playoffs. Speaking so, uh, of a baseball dog, sorry, but we need to rewind. Pat, yesterday we let it slide right by us when he goes, my Padres. My Pods. After, after we all grew up here in Central Florida with the Braves as our team. And you, well, I'm so, uh, hey, oh. that's, uh, hey, I didn't grow up here in Central Florida with the Braves as my team. I grew up. With the uh, the Dodgers were my team as a youngster, and then when Steve Garvey went to the Padres, that's when I became a Pods. It, it's it's kind of hard, Bob, for you to ha- really have a leg to stand on, uh, being known as as Bandwagon Bob. So <laughs> yeah, you know, come on, let's let's be uh, realistic here. All right, that's big true. big weekend of football, fellas. Yeah, bi- hey, big news in college football yesterday. UCF loses loses their starting wide receiver, Xavier Townsend, heading into the game against the Gators. He's opting out after four games uh, to save himself a redshirt year. He's now in the transfer portal. He announced that yesterday, so UCF will be without... Uh, their starting wide receiver and starting punt returner, Xavier Townsend, one of the more explosive players. He will not be on the team. I know most old school college football fans hate this opting out in the middle of the season, uh, but it's, yes, it's business. That's, that's the business of college football circa 2024. I don't like it either, but you're going to see more of this. I wouldn't be surprised if the Gators have some opt outs as well. Tomorrow, I take, you're only, you, you can only play in four games. If you play in five games, you lose a year of eligibility. If you're going to transfer, you want that extra year of eligibility. Then college football has to do something about this rule. <laughs> they yeah. definitely Terrible. do. When, when you said it's business and I said it's BS, you're right. Drop all the letters between B and S in business, and that's what it is. <laughs> As Pat Lynch has said over and over, get GMs for college football. Let the coaches coach and let's yeah. sift all yeah. these little turds out. UCF favored, by the way, by two and a half against Oof. the Gators. Who do you guys like in that game? Well, they were favored against Colorado by two touchdowns as well. So um, <laughs> yeah. let's not let's not get on our high horses. And hey, man, listen, this is a, a, a UCF alum saying this. Hey, if you're going up to that game as a, as a UCF fan, don't be a dick. Don't don't be a cocky, you know, little, you know, just don't. I don't, don't. think they will after oh, last weekend. I, I, you know, I don't know. There's a, there's if they a, win, they will, well, and they I should. Know. Come on, Lynch. 
You got to have a little. If UCF just, wins this game, there has to be some banner going on after oh, yeah. that. Game. I'm talking about going in. Don't go up there in. being uh-huh. all cocky, man. Just I, go and root for the team, but don't be, you know, come on. Not going to be cocky going in there. Going in this ball. I actually think UCF's still going to win this game, even though they're lo- they've lost uh, uh, their wide receiver. I, I think they're going to win this game. I don't think. Flo- I mean, I know Colorado's defense isn't very good, but Florida's defense is even worse. I don't think Florida's defense can shut down UCF's running game. I like the ge- I like UCF to win this game. Right. So, uh, Miami's at Cal. Game day will be at Cal. Uh, University of Miami will be at Cal. Uh, Miami's favored by ten and a half. They should win that game. I still think that's a, a trap game. 10.30 kickoff our time tomorrow night. Right, right. Um, I'm going to do something stupid here. They're used to that time in Miami, Pat. Come on. That's, they don't go out until 4 in the morning. <laughs> That's right. Sorry. I'm picking Florida State a 14.5 point underdog to beat Clemson this week. Straight up beat them? Straight up beat them. Brock Glenn, the new quarterback. DJU is out. I think Brock Glenn is going to give them a spark and somehow, some way, Florida State's going to be reawakened and be the team that we thought they would be and beat Clemson. Wow. So, um, we have all, my... all the college football coming up with, uh, with Coach. Yeah, Mark Daniels will be here a little bit later. We'll huddle up with him. What about over on the NFL side there, doggy? Well, Indianapolis at Jacksonville. Jacksonville winless actually favored in that game by three points. If they can't win this one, man, that would be 0-5. Anthony Richardson is supposed to play, by the way, for Indianapolis. Uh, Miami is at New England. The Patriots favored by a point over <laughs> Miami. And Tyler Huntley, their quarterback. Uh, Miami still has more talent than New England. I, I, I can't. I, I know the Dolphins can lose this. I think the Dolphins win this They're game. They're going to figure something out, man. Yeah. 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 So, uh, other big games, the Jets versus Minnesota, Baltimore at Cincinnati, Buffalo at Houston is probably the game I'm most looking forward to. And the Cowboys play the Steelers. So, that's a, a, a big time game. Orlando City's got, what, Cincinnati this weekend? FC Cincinnati on the road. FC Cincinnati, the third seed. Orlando City, the fourth seed as we sit. Orlando City needs to win to hold on to that fourth seed. And the Orlando Pride hosts the Washington Spirit 5 p.m. Sunday at the Purple Palace. Get out there and watch their pride. They're undefeated 16-0-6. By the way, if they're going to lose, this would be the game. Washington's the second-best team in the league. So a good chance for you on Sunday afternoon to get out and watch the pride. You're going, right, dog? You're not going to watch the late football games. You're going to go over and watch the Pride? I may watch the Pride on Sunday, yes. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, Talladega, next stop for uh, NASCAR playoffs this weekend. That's uh, that's always a, a great race to watch. That's right. Just wait for the big when the you know they're going to be... <laughs> they're going to be racing to get in the, to the next round of the playoffs. So there'll be some theatrics and fireworks at that track on Sunday. Right. Mike the Bulldog Bianchi, host of Open Mic on AM 740 and FM 96.9. The game uh, on adjacent to us each morning takes time out of his busy show to join us for the sports page here on JRR. Brought to you by Kaufman and Lind. Listen to Under Oath with Attorney Jeff Kaufman every Saturday morning, 7.30 on FM 96.9 The Game. You can catch extended versions by searching for Under Oath with Jeff Kaufman on your favorite streaming platform. Oh, oh. Miss the-